Hey guys, what's up? I'm uh, back out at the school here. I've got my Talon tricopter. I've got a GoPro mounted to it. A little bit of moon gel. Back from my percussion days, I thought about this stuff for vibration isolators. Seems to do the job really well. Moon gel. It's pretty cool actually. But um, I'll uh, do some flight. <laughs> I had a crash with it yesterday. I was pretty bummed. And, uh, and it was during a a battery test just to see if I could see how long I could run the battery for and I was just an idiot where I was saying oh, okay well if I'm gonna be flying around I might as well be practicing my orientation well it was at night and uh, dark and in front of my house and it was like I don't know midnight or something yeah well it didn't work out too well I ended up breaking two props I broke the rear I broke the right and um, everything else actually held up really well. I didn't have a problem, but uh, I guess we'll get to it. Goodbye. Tight. Okay. Let's see. It's pretty windy today, so I want to just kind of give it a quick feel to see where the gyros are. It looks a little bit sensitive for this much wind. All right, you're getting little oscillations, so. I'm gonna do a quick tune. Oops. Yeah, it's getting pretty windy here. Okay. So it's funny because with the wind, generally you want generally you want more gyro to compensate for the bad conditions. But what I actually like, I hate when it's bouncing around because of the gyros. Absolutely hate it. I'd much rather have more control over the craft than uh, less control. So this thing is, uh, it's not quite ideal for 3-cell on a tricopter. I run these same motors and props on 3-cell on my quads and on my uh, hexes, but for a tri, obviously, you have, you, you stress the motors a touch more. So um, I'm going to be picking up some 4-cell batteries. That's one thing I like about this setup that I use. It seems to be pretty magic because you don't, you're, you're taking it real easy. You're taking it real easy on 3-cell, on everything. I mean, you're really not stressing much at all. But at the same time, you can easily go to 4-cell without blowing anything up at the same time. Let's see what the power is here. Uh, not so great. Give it some more stick scaling here. And by some more, I mean a lot more. About double. Whoa, that is so twitchy. Oh my god. Okay, there you go. That made me a little nervous. I generally don't... I told myself I wouldn't do anything stupid with this. Well, there you go. That was pretty dumb. Um, there's no reason not to. But if I was on 4-cell, I'd be a lot more comfortable just because you have a little bit more power.
constant corrections in wind like this. This is all I was doing yesterday. I was sitting there. Got about four minutes into it. Whoa. About four minutes into it and just got hit by this little gust of wind at night and um, started blowing me towards a tree, which just completely sketched me out and I just I couldn't recover. There's my battery. Oh, trying to run away from me here. Okay. Thanks for watching. And thank you guys for watching. I'll put both these videos up and see how it is. It's uh, it's pretty windy, so I wouldn't be surprised if the onboard video is a little, a little jumbly for sure. But um, one thing I can say, this Simon K flash stuff, wow, big difference. It um, it has like more steps basically, so it, it's like micro increments um, of adjustment. So it's really nice. But uh, pretty stoked. I uh, I drained that battery pretty quick, but it's actually an older 2200 and loaded up with a, a GoPro on, so plus this is a really inefficient setup for, for heavy lifting. I mean, I was cruising around at maybe three quarters throttle, even higher sometimes, so it's, it's really not the ideal setup. If it was on four cell, it would be running a much better efficiency curve. Um, I just don't have any four cell stuff. I've always tried to tune my stuff out for three cell, but I'm really just kind of developing the opinion that running slightly higher KV motors with smaller props. I know a lot of guys were, were saying big props are good, but I, I hate big props. I just hate them. Um, there's something about the way the multi-rotors fly. The likelihood to develop um, things going out of track. You know, smaller props, stiffer props, faster moving props. You have less rotational disc area to be affected by wind. Um, and you spin it higher, so you're not going to be able to get as efficient a, uh, a craft in general. If you're swinging a big prop on a low KV motor, that's almost as efficient as you can get. But the reality is I, I don't care. I want my shit to fly well. And um, 8x4s on 4 cell when you're lifting, and on 3 cell when you're cruising, seems to be the magic setup. So, thanks for watching guys. You have a great day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.